You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. Before I go, I'd just like to leave some remarks to people like Trump and his entire family, whether it be Don Jr., Eric, or whether it be Ivanka or Jared, or whether it be Melania and that all entire Trump crowd. I'd like to curse them with madness. With madness. That they would wake up on Tuesday morning and think that it's Friday night. They will look out their windows at nighttime and think that the morning is broken. Madness. That all of the lies that they've told and all the schemes and all the people that they have stolen from, that everything that they have stolen will be demanded of them in some sort of a spiritual connection that they will never know peace. That eczema, that, that their minds and their brains would be scabbed and scaled like the scales of a fish. And as the scales along a fish prevents any water from touching the flesh of the fish, so will the scales on their eyes and their minds prevent them from any kind of understanding or pleasure. They can eat some of the best Belgium chocolate in the world, and it'll taste like they're chewing on a birchwood stick. Curse be the Trump family. Curse be the Trump cabinet. All of the persons, Steve Mnuchin types, all of the persons that now serve in the Trump cabinet as a part of his uh, denial of the Constitution to all of the uh, rest of the world as they have extracted that beautiful instrument and said it will not, it does not apply to anybody who's not a supporter of Trump. You can demand, ask for a subpoena. You can show the laws about taxes and about how they're to be turned over, but you'll get nothing. The Mueller can write a report, but you'll never see the truth of it. You'll never see the lie today. I curse all of the cabinet members, Mitch McConnell, Steve Mnuchin, Huckabee Sanders, Sarah Sanders, and Bill Barr, Kellyanne Conway, Vice President Pence, and a whole host that serve, anybody who serves as a cabinet member, anybody who serves in any way, would truly curse be thou in the city and curse be thou in the field. The very thing that you have seen in the ghettos of ghetto children, of ghetto gang banging, of ghetto pregnancy, of poverty, of stench, will now be in the bedrooms of your children. Your children will speak the ignorance that have once been of the people that you have worked so hard to oppress and suppress. Your children, though they can earn $150,000 a week, it'll do them no more than earning $15 an hour on a job because when they put it in their pockets, it will go right back out. God will not let them prosper, nor will they understand prosper. Their homes will be uh, ovens in the summertime and there'll be icebergs in the wintertime. There'll no comfort. Their beds will be like rocks, bedrock from a quarry where the rocks have no porous whatsoever and the sheets will be sheets of needles like a porcupine's needles. When they pull the blanket and the covers over them, it'll be like pulling a porcupine skin over them as they on their beds, they're lying there in the midst of all their squalor and their misery and pain and only pain and suffering shall they all know, members of the Trump cabinet, those that serve him now and those that serve them who even had enough wisdom to resign but had enough greed to take the job in the first place, curse be thou. Let that be known. I thought that I would let you know that, that those are the sentiments of God. Yes, those are the sentiments of those, of the God who is God. Let's see whose God is God. I take the position of Elijah. Oh, I realize I'm alone. I realize that nobody's with me. I understand that. I understand that Trump has all 850 prophets with him. I understand that because this is the Mount Carmel experience, I and I alone call for fire to come down from heaven upon Trump. But I tell you what's going to really be devastating. You want to devastate the Trump supporter? You really want to devastate them? Let them listen to the explanation of their own validation, using their own words against them, that God has used Trump 
the way he used Cyrus. And you'll never hear them say that ever again because it is an outright confession that they are fourth and fifth ranked. And now the brown skinned and black skinned people have power over them. Me. I'm James David Manning, everybody, and don't you ever forget it. Don't you ever forget it. Don't you ever forget it. I'm the Lord's servant. Don't you ever forget it. Don't you ever forget it. I'm God's servant. I'm the Lord's servant. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the Word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he. I'm the Lord, sir. James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.